हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शिक्षार्थी इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द लेंथ ऑफ अ डायरेक्ट कॉमन टेंजेंट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ बिफोर वी बिगिन द डिस्कशन ऑन द सेम देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स व्हिच आर एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ अ लर्नर आई मीन बिफोर यू डू डायरेक्ट कॉमन टेंजेंट द फर्स्ट एंड द फॉरमोस्ट थिंग हियर इज यू शुड नो द टर्मिनोलॉजी ऑफ अ लाइन लाइन सेगमेंट रे ट्रांसवर्सल एट्सेट्रा सेकेंड you should know the law of similarity law of congruency now when i say law of similarity and law, law of congruency i am basically referring to those 5 6 tests sas triple s double as etc you should know law of parallelism perpendicularism and so on last but not the least what you are expected to know here is what is a tangent and what is the tangent theorem right though i mean or however we are expected to know this but then uh, while we are discussing the direct common tangent we will try and throw some light on this as well okay now let us in the very first place understand what is a tangent so tangent is either a transversal or a line that touches a circle at a point for example if you refer to the diagram which is there before you so you would see that points b c e f are the points of tangent why are these the points of tangent because at these points or on these points there is a line or a transversal or a line segment that touches i mean barely touches it or just manages to touch a circle that is known as the point of tangent and the line itself is known as the tangent having said this the second thing which going forward that you should know here is can i say that the angle i mean when i am referring to the angle here i basically mean to say here is angle hbc is the same as angle icb which is equal to 90 degrees this can be proved also but as as we discussed earlier that these are few things which you should know before we talk about a direct common tangent and analogously you can say that the angle that the line eh followed by i and the line fh and another which is i'm sorry fih these two angles would be the same and they'll also be equal to 90 degrees okay okay so now going forth what is a direct common tangent a tangent that is common to both these circles given that these circles may or may not touch each other now when i say touch i am not talking about the circles intersecting each other so in this diagram you would see that both the circles are not touching touching each other if they would have touched each other also then they would have touched tangentially tangentially is that both the circles they touch at a single point which incidentally can also be termed as the point of intersection because touching also is just like saying is a kind of intersection only in this case there is a line that is drawn there is a line or a transversal that is drawn common to both uh, the circles one is the line or the transversal ad the other line here is dg this is a common line and this uh, common line touches the circle on the same side for example the upper side of the first circle and touching uh, there is a line which touches the line ad touches the upper side of both the circles and the line dg touches the lower side of both the circles so if there is a line which touches which acts as a tangent to both the circles on the same side then it is known as a direct common tangent okay now the next thing which arises here is uh so uh, the next thing here is we need to find out the length of bc which is the length of the direct common tangent and incidentally now what i am doing here is i am draw, drawing a point here just to symbolize that this is a line we are talking about a line segment bc 
analogously here now this H is nothing but the center point of the first circle so I am drawing the center point for both the circles okay so now what uh, you would see that uh, there are two lines that I have drawn with the help of a blue color so now let me give them a name also so here I am labeling this as point J so let's say this is J so now can I say that this angle is a 90 degrees yes from where does it come it comes from the tangent theorem now at the same time I am asking there is the blue colored lines are the lines which a learner which here in, in this case is me I am drawing a line here IJ such that IJ is parallel to BC and incidentally you will be able to say that IJ is equal to BC as well. What is the theorem that you are using? You are using law of parallelism and perpendicular, per perpendicularism which says that between two parallel lines if I am dropping a perpendicular, the lengths of the perpendiculars would be the same from the same points. So in this case, can I say that IJ is IJ is equal to BC? Yes. At the same time, we can also say that BJ is equal to CI which is nothing but the radius of the second circle which I am putting it as R2 which is the radius of the second circle and in that case I am assuming BH which is the radius of the first circle as R1 so when I say assuming that means let us say Once you have said this, now we can use some jargons in terms of pictorial jargons. This and this are equal which we have already mentioned. So now in this case, what is HI? HI is the distance between the two centers. So can I say that angle BJI, angle BJI is equal to angle CIJ of course I can say this and they are equal to 90 degrees henceforth uh, the quadrilateral that is formed which is BCIJ it becomes a quadrilateral that is a quadrilateral uh, which is also known as a rectangle in this case can I put this as 90 degrees of course so now using Pythagoras using Pythagoras okay so if I use Pythagoras theorem can I say so now we are using the Pythagoras theorem in the triangle IJH so can we say that IH whole square which is the hypotenuse whole square is equal to IJ whole square plus JH whole square in order to understand this better maybe you can put it put this inside a parenthesis so that it becomes easier for you to understand once we do this from here now what are we supposed to calculate we are supposed to calculate the length of the direct common tangent which is IJ so can can we put it like this now BC is equal to IJ that we already know because it is a rectangle and these are the two equal sides and parallel sides of a rectangle is nothing but under root of so IJ whole square from here can I say is equal to IH whole square which is nothing but the distance between the center points of the circles of the given two circles minus JH whole square 
now when i have to substitute the value of jh now we know that jh is nothing but bh minus bj as assumed earlier bh is r1 bj is r2 you substitute this value here which is r1 minus r2 whole square so you would see that there is no need to mug up uh, when it comes to the concepts there is no need to mug up the formula as well though if you are able to just put up the theorems or the concepts that you would have learnt over a period of time uh, it becomes so easy to recall right so this is how we are able to get the value or the length of the direct common tangent which is bc Thank you.